that's the weirdest part. So, fight of fandoms. This is something that started up quite recently with Geek Bomb. We did it live in Google Hangouts, and then we took it to Twitter because we thought people that have access to the internet love to have an opinion. And what better way to do that than provide them a platform, a hashtag, and a poll? So today we are doing Fallout versus Witcher. And I see we've got some pit boys happening here. I love Bethesda playing dirty like that. Can't even be mad. Because this is completely interactive, you all have the power to be a part of this. If you jump onto Twitter right now, Geek Bomb is currently running that poll, and I can safely tell you that it is a close one. Currently, Fallout is winning at 53%. That's it. It's almost neck and neck. We do have Team Fallout over here. We've got Team Witcher over here, am I right? Ooh, I love it. This is going to get personal. This is going to, we're going to fight dirty. This is very, very competitive. There can only be one winner. And a big shout out to all my Twitch people. Sub guys, watching live. Subscribe to Geek Bomb on Twitch if you want. Uh, we've got a YouTube channel, we've got a Twitter, we've got uh, Facebook, and we've got some pretty awesome people in the Bomb Squad. So I want to introduce you to the teams and who will be on them. We'll start off with Team Witcher. Joining us from Geek Bomb, we've got Brad Weston. Come out, Brad. Brad, guys, that's me supposed to clap. I've got like three guy Geek Bomb members, okay? They need all the love they can get. Yeah, Brad, your hair's um, all over the place. He gets sensitive. Also joining Team Witcher, her name is Shona. Shona Johnson, everyone. Also, fun fact about Shona, um, it's the 20th anniversary, I believe, of Lara Croft. Is it the 20th? Yes. And uh, she has done a professional cosplay as Lara Croft, and it made an official book, which is a big deal, because she signed her page today. Someone asked for that. So that's beautiful. Well done. She also made the slideshow, so you can thank her for this beautiful slide. She's done an amazing job. Representing Team Fallout from Geek Bomb, we've got, I'm going to call her Castleberry. Her name's Kirsten. Give her a round of applause for Kaz. <laughs> Kaz has got some fans. What do you know? Also joining us, this Bomb Squad member flew all the way from Vancouver to be here today at PAX Melbourne. Give it up for Kaylee Lawrence. Woo! So by now you know the hashtag, Fight of Fandoms. With that hashtag, you guys actually get to join in the debate. Help out your team captains, help out your side. You get to say whatever you want about the game you love or the game you don't love, and that will be ammunition that the team captains and the teams could use so you can actually help your team win tonight. So do that via Twitter as well while I announce our team captains. Team Fallout, you know her as Charalanazard. Some of you can say that, most of you can't. She uh, now lives in San Francisco and is an editor, writer, presenter, and podcaster for IGN. Give it up for Alana Pierce, everyone. She's also DJing tonight at midnight, so yeah, send your prayers. <laughs> I think they're interested. And uh, joining Team Witcher, she's come all the way from New Zealand. Did you just hear her laugh? <laughs> she's a Twitch streamer. She's actually just finished Witcher 3. There's no such thing as uh, coincidence, one might say. Give it up for Laurie Pops, guys! <laughs> Take your mic stand. So there's different rounds that's happening tonight, and I will be moderating. Please appreciate that, thank you very much. With moderating, I'm going to listen to all the debates and I'm going to award points for everything that's said that I believe deserves a point. But you can only get one point per thing. So if you say, but it's the best game ever, nine different ways, still only one point. You've got to be really, really unique with how you are fighting for your game. That's where you get to help because you get to think a little bit longer and you've got 140 characters. The rounds that we've got is, first of all, our team captains will have four minutes for their opening round and will give their debate. They also have the help of their teammates with that four minutes as well. Then it turns to you guys. This is completely interactive. We've got two microphones. We should, one, two, great, not there, love it. Oh yeah, they are. I cannot see. 
Um, I want all of the team Fallout to line up behind that microphone. I want all of Team Witcher to line up behind that microphone and have your debate ready, your point that you want to make. And the reason why this is a pretty cool thing to do is because we've got prize packs to give away for Team Fallout, and we've got closed beta codes for Gwent to give away for Team Witcher. So you guys get something else for helping out. Then it's going to be the rebuttal, and this is gloves off. These guys are going to yell out anything that you thought was a great point, they're going to shut it down. It's going to get real nasty. And then the poll that is still currently open, which you should be voting for right now, will be closed by the time that we're done. Whichever team wins the poll gets an additional five points. So it's still anyone's game. Are you guys ready to start this? Yeah? yeah? Well then, uh, let's get ready to rumble. Come on, dude. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Hell yeah. All right, opening round. Fight for your fandom, your four minutes. We're actually going to start with Team Fallout. Alana, your time starts now. Well, this is really easy to start with because can I just say how many uh, masks we have in the audience right now? I don't see any Geralt masks. I don't even think that they make those. All right, so we came into this uh, with people talking about Fallout 4 versus The Witcher 3. Both absolutely amazing games, but can we talk about Fallout as a franchise? Because at no point does any of the marketing on this say that we were only going to talk about Fallout 4, so I'm going to talk about Fallout. First game came out in 1997. That's an old as fuck franchise. The Witcher, little, little baby Witcher, first one came out in 2007. That's 10 years younger. What a little baby franchise. And there's dramatically less games. Oh, <laughs> I think this one's particularly funny. Uh, Fallout Shelter, absolutely amazing mobile game that came out last year, has won countless awards. It's listed as, wait for it, have to, d wait, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> App Store, best of 2015. Mobile Game of the Year, 2016, DICE Awards winner, 2015, Golden Joystick, Best Hand... I, I could keep reading, it goes for a really long time. How funny is Gwent? <laughs> they made like a card game that they thought would work really well on mobile and nobody cares! Nobody cares! You, Fallout Shelter is so much better! But as a whole, what the Fallout franchise absolutely kills is the sense of exploration, which... And I, I do love The Witcher. But the sense of exploration that you get from Fallout, from the terminals, from stumbling across something that you would never expect to be there. You're just walking in this wasteland and then suddenly there's a fucking vampire colony. Like, that, it's, that, that game has contained in it stories that exist in larger games like The Witcher, which has a pretty convoluted plot, if we're being honest. Like, what even is Geralt? Does anyone know what he actually is? Hot. Aside from hot. Uh, hey, well, we have character customization. I can be as hot as I fucking want. Oh, I can also be a woman. Shout out to that. Uh, we have insane character customization. That one is, is uh, a very good point. We have special perks. We have things that completely change the game. Bloody Mass is always my favorite perk. You can make people fucking explode just by shooting them in the side of the face. Beautiful. <laughs> there is so much that you can do with Fallout 4, and uh, the, the franchise as a whole has more games, better rated games across the board. I think the worst rated Fallout game was an 8.6. Wow. The worst rated Witcher game was a 70. Oh, baby. So sad. All right, I'm going to pass it on to uh, my lovely team of ladies here. Who wants to tag in? Who's tagging in? Kaz, you're up. You got right. this. <laughs> you have 90 seconds pretty much on the clock. Okay. Ooh, this oh, very that's for me. so cute. <laughs> oh, my God, you're so small. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Isn't a hug? No, no, that's bias. Can't play into it. You know what? There you go. Hey, Maud, how good are puns? I love puns. Yeah. <laughs> one point to us. Woo. Okay, one minute left. Oh, okay. So. I love puns. Um, I'm just gonna read out some quick notes that um, some other Bomb Squad members have put together for us. Uh, Fallout 4 gives players loads of choice to building their character, offering enormous perk tree with many abilities. Special perks exclusive to Fallout that trump, ov the, uh, trump over the abilities provided by Geralt. It's not a preset character or gender, meaning you can choose your gender and completely customise it. You can also customise what your character is doing, whereas in Witcher, Geralt is what he is. You can't change that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Settlement building. Just that settlement building. Full stop. Incredible. <laughs> what was that one, one more time? 
Settlement building? Settlement yeah. building. 10 seconds left. All right, I'm not gonna have time to read anything else, so thanks for watching. All right. Go fall out. Okay, all right. Not bad, not bad. Team, how do you think you went? Hit all your points? Feel good? We're, we're just getting started, actually. Okay. It's a warm up. Well, Laurie's ready to go. Do you <laughs> want to start? I'm ready. Your time begins now. Hello, hello, Witcher fans. My, my medallion is jiggling right now at you guys <laughs> over there. <laughs> so, The Witcher, a game filled with romance, lust, tragedy, friendship, a beautifully graphically... It's, it doesn't even compare to Fallout. It is so beautiful, vibrant, and rich. The lore and the beasts that you fight and you come across is hard to compare to with any game today. So, Cheryl Anazot over there said that we started The Witcher in Geralt's interesting story in 2007. So, with that being said, the progress from The Witcher 1 to the third Witcher has been immense. Whereas Fallout, I'm sorry, I don't feel like it has it changed made that genres. much progress. <laughs> it changed genres, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm a huge, huge fan. I personally started The Witcher series this year and I got to play the games pretty much back to back to back. So I saw and I analyzed the changes from each beautiful, beautiful story-driven game. And seriously, the woman. <laughs> team Triss or Team Yennefer, guys? Team Yennefer? Team, I'm team, team Triss. What? Like she's beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, starting with that, Geralt has these wonderful relationships with practically every character he encounters. And they did mention that you cannot customize your character in the Witcher series, but that gains more attachment to Geralt and his personal character and the decisions you can make with him because he can be... Geralt, no matter what you want to do, which is absolutely fantastic. So, I'm going to tag my lovely over here. Brad, you're up. <laughs> Brad's been furiously writing notes. I've been oh, drawing, your hand drawing pictures. Uh, they're pictures. You should be a doctor. Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> so, uh, Alana made the point of you guys wearing the masks, the Fallout masks. That's very cool. Um, you're going to need those to hide the tears when you lose this debate. Did you um, just come up to smack talk? Yeah, well, it's a debate. <laughs> this so is the best, I yes! I came to win. Uh, Trash talking. So, <laughs> first and foremost, I heard shit talk on Gwent. Gwent is fucking sick. If you don't like Gwent, there is something fundamentally wrong with the way you look at card games. I love walking into a bar and being greeted by a stranger with three teeth and asking me <laughs> if I want to play a game. That's fantastic. I want that in every game. In fact, I liked Gwent more than I liked most of the stuff in Witcher. And I loved everything in The Witcher. And that's because it's awesome. Um, <laughs> also, story. The Witcher is more than just a series of video games. It's an incredible series of books. Has anyone okay, read the books here? We've got one minute left. I've only got one minute to smoke <laughs> No them. pressure. Oh, no. So those books are just as good, if not better, than Who's the game. Who's the books? All right. Yeah. Any Can we nerds cheer? out there? Yeah, You're thank so you. polite with the hands. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> They're full of sex, violence, <laughs> dragons, more dragons? sex. <laughs> Did you just say D dragons? Dragons. Dragons, yeah. The D word. How many dragons are in Fallout? None. How many? <laughs> this debate is over. Um, <laughs> how long do I have? 20 seconds. Crafting. So in Fallout, it seems that you pile up a bunch of junk that you find in a wasteland that's more a wasteland in the boring side. There's nothing there. And you attach smaller guns to bigger guns to make uglier guns. Five seconds left. Witcher, you find sweet ass swords. Swords are better than guns, and you get sweet and armor. Time's up. <laughs> swords better than guns. All right. How do you think uh, Team Fallout went? <laughs> My favorite part was definitely the two seconds yeah. that it took you guys to realize you had to cheer. What about Team Witcher? All right, I'm going to show you right now how I moderate. That was louder. Witcher gets a point. There are no rules, guys. 
I am the moderator. If you guys, like, if, you're, if they say a point that you like, that actually adds strength to their argument. All right, so let's go over what we just had here. Team Fallout, you said you had strength in numbers with the amount of games that you have. And you actually raised a great point that the rating system of those games shat on Witcher. I'm giving you two points for that. Great argument. You said it's got 10 years on the Witcher franchise. As a older woman, I think having 10 years on anything is really good right now, so you get a point for that. I don't look 30. Thank you. Thank you. Boop, boop. That's fucked. Alrighty, you said that uh, not only is the, uh, the main games epic, but you also said that the offshoot of games, Shelter, far better, far superior, plenty of people <laughs> played it, millions and millions of uh, downloads for that one, and awards, you're getting a point for that. You also said that uh, you liked Witcher twice. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I gave uh, The Witcher 3 my game of the year. So Over did I. Fallout 4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But Fallout as a franchise is much better, and I need to start by saying that if you're saying that the games didn't progress, you clearly didn't play Fallout Ooh, 1. Wait to the rebuttal, ladies. <laughs> Team Witcher still gets a point for you saying it's a good game. Yep. <laughs> All right, that's fair. You said the exploration in Fallout was fantastic, and you mentioned I wanted to hear vampire orgy, so I heard vampire orgies. Probably not what you said, you get a point. I watched all, how many, seven seasons of Buffy in like a summer? <laughs> oh, in a summer, that's kind of kinky. Anyway, you said customizable characters. This is where I will give you two points. Not only can you completely customize what your character looks like, you can customize the gender of the character. As a woman, I like to play as a woman. As a guy, they like to play as women so that you can look at their butt the whole time. Whatever, you get, a, you get two points for that. You said there's extra violence that you can shoot and explode someone's face off. You get a point for that, you sick fuck. <laughs> you said that... Uh, that there's settlement building with a mic drop. Two points, please. I'll give you one. <sighs> Kaz mentioned puns, you get a point. <laughs> Witcher, you had a medallion, you get a point. <laughs> you said there was romance, you said there was friendship, you said that there was law, you said that there was lust, you get a point. Beard. I said tits, I get a point. <laughs> Lots of beard. That's us. I would actually, when playing the game, <laughs> shoot you not, get my phone out and record it so I could prove to people that I was getting some. <laughs> you said that the law was amazing. Brad, you brought up the books. Uh, there is so much happening here, and they have created a very, very rich world. The fact that you even read it gets I you read. a point. I'm proud I of read. you, you're reading. I read. Not well, not well, but I read. The beast fighting, my favorite part of the game. You mentioned it, you get a point. The trash talking that Brad did, I give him a point. <laughs> they said, Gwent, you guys cheered. Two points. <laughs> yes. Another point. Wow, you guys are fast learners. I love it. Um, in my notes, it said that Geralt sluts it up. He, is he gets a point. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful women. Touche, touche. Anyone else spend a little bit too long in the whole house? <laughs> Good. Dragons, gets you a point. Crafting. You Bagged out Fallout, that's for the rebuttal, don't get a point. But you will get it when you mention it in your rebuttal. <laughs> Swords are better than guns, I live in America, you get a point. <laughs> you said Team Triss. Ooh, how are you not Team Yennefer? Well, I'm Team Yennefer. Red, redheads have more fun. Isn't that, isn't that a As common a thing? As a blonde, I'll give you a point. Yeah. yeah. Currently standing, Team Fallout, you are on 10 points. Yeah. Team Witcher, you are on 15 yeah. points. That is just the first round. The next round, round two, the fans bring the fight. So right now, if you're Team Fallout and you've got a debate point, that's your microphone. If you're Team Witcher and you have a debate point, that is your microphone. Remember, prizes are at stake here. Team Fallout, you will get yourself a, a gift pack. Team Witcher, you will land yourself a closed beta download code. You're welcome. All right, while you're figuring out your shit, 
<laughs> uh, Team Witcher, you get a point. You look like you are more or organized. You are more organized. Team Witcher, yeah. single file. Well done. <laughs> Team Witcher, you are. You know what? To be fair. I'm going to give two points to Bethesda for like to completely playing um, hard and giving you guys the masks. Like I respect that. That is dirty and I love it and you guys get something out of it too. All right, Team Fallout, what is your name? I mean Team Witcher, what's your name? Uh, my name is Brian. G'day, my name's Brian. Fuck, I love Australia. <laughs> <laughs> what's your point? Uh, my point is a question to the Fallout team. Oh, what is the trash. point? Wait, 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 I need to, I need to brace myself for this. I'm so excited. What, yeah. what is the point of Fallout? Like, there is no point. Mate, what's the point of video games? What's the point of but life? In, what's the point in, of all of this? In oh, The Witcher, there is a point. There, it is a story about isolationism. It is a story about the nature of friendship. It is the story about depression. It's the story about racism and, and being ostracized because you're different. And we learn through playing The Witcher Hopefully you didn't have to learn through playing The Witcher, but you do learn through playing The Witcher that all these things are bad and that if we just talk to one another, we don't have to fight. I mean, you can stab a dude with a sword, but you can also talk your way out of it. Is crying? Can we, yeah. that's was that five beautiful. points? Oh, was yeah. that five points? It's My fine. rebuttal? Is this over? <laughs> you should be out here, oh, mate. No. What about <laughs> ghouls, though? Ghouls, that is my legitimate answer to that. They deal with so much discrimination. The fact that they like don't even get real estate inside of a building because all of these rich, not ghoul people are fucking racist. Brian, you get a point. Alana, you get a point. <laughs> well done. Um, Hello. Kaz are going to get your code for you, buddy. No, no. Pipe down. Jesus Christ, we're going over here. What's your okay. name? I'll pull out. G'day, I'm Troy. Troy? G'day, Troy? That's Troy, yep. That's G'day, it. Troy, is it yeah? Good, how you going? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, so, I'm thinking with Fallout, it's actually getting us ready for the future. Donald, if Donald Trump wins this election, oh, no. nuclear fallout will go across oh, the world. Oh my god, And yes. we are prepared to live in that wasteland. Oh. We will become gods rebuilding these settlements for people to live in if President Trump wins this election. So basically, Fallout is a training manual. <laughs> exactly. And the fun thing is, it is a manual inside it. Two points! <laughs> Give that guy a bag of good gifting things of Fallout. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Uh, my name's Aries, and I'll try to keep it apolitical. <laughs> Shade, it just got darker in here, you threw so much what? shade. What other game than Witcher lets you do monster hunting CSI style? Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. That's a point. That's a point. <laughs> All right, that's it. You got it. Kaz is going to no. take your details, buddy. And uh, don't forget, Gwent is either PC or Xbox One, so let Kaz know. Let Kaz. So Kaz is going to grab your details, so don't go anywhere, Aries. Oh, they've already got it. Oh, mm. she's good. Guys, give what Kaz a round of applause because I love it. Yeah. When I, when I, they get Gwent codes, they get bottle caps. All right, Team Fallout. What's your name? Les. Hi. Can we say everyone's name when they say their name? Hi, Les. Hi, Hi Les. Les. Okay, short and sweet. You said, oh, that the Witcher has got armor. Great. T51B power armor. Woo! Yeah. Hello, Witcher. Yeah. No. Yep, that's a point for sure. For sure. What do we... Can I rebuttal to that? Can't... They all look the uh, same, uh, though. Rebuttal? That makes them more intimidating! Alana gets a rebuttal. Alana gets a rebuttal. Okay. Alana okay. gets a rebuttal about gross ghouls. I can rebuttal about Fallout's He asked terrible. a question. Yeah, I'll, I'll let, let it fly. Go. I'll let it fly. I'll let it fly. Okay, we made the point. Uh, Team Witcher. Hi, what's hey, your name? I'm Leanna. Hi. Hi, Leanne. <laughs> I, like right, I have two anonymous. quick points. First one, yep. Preston fucking Garvey. Mm. Go to hell. Mm. Fetch quests? No. Second point, you guys in full our team mentioned that character customization is awesome. I do think that's awesome. But if you have Witcher where you've got Geralt, a preset character with his own backstory, his own interests, his own personality, you add so much more to the story, so much deeper, you get a deeper experience because you have that preset character. You are more invested in the game, I will give you a point for that. By the way, you've got red on you. <laughs> <laughs> Team Fallout, what's your uh, name? I'm Bryce. Hi, Hi Bryce. Bryce. <laughs> um, building on from settlements. Yep. That's Make it, you're good. <laughs> yep. All right. Make a new point for me. Um, you can build a fucking fort, like... <laughs> 
What other point. game can you build a fort Minecraft. and people come Minecraft. in? Uh, it's on your team, And you can uh, just uh, turn them into ash. Why settle when Don't you can adventure? You. Never stand still in, in the wet shed. Yeah. I am not going to give you a point because your own team captain debunked something that you said. Uh, Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Team Witcher. And you've got five minutes, guys. What do we got? I'm Rick. Hi, Hi Rick. Rick. Um, my point's kind of with Alana as well, because uh, I came here with this shirt on, Good and shirt. I'm on the right side of this, Ooh. so... You traitor! Yeah, yeah that's right. I so love hold it. on, are you, are you sabotaging Team Witcher by going and standing up there? No, I'm, I'm saying I'm with the better game here, if there was a choice. Ooh. Whoa. But you're lining up but for where, Team Witcher. Where's, where's your Witcher yeah. shirt, mate? Yes, he's a He's saying Witcher is better. He's, he's, he's saying Witcher is I'm better. I'm saying yeah. I would choose Witcher every time. He just little, he just little oh, fingered. He just yeah. little fingered Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so your point, traitor, <laughs> is that even though you're wearing a shirt of another game, Witcher is still better. Yep. Are you saying that there is not enough good Geralt merch? Would you... For a, for a point, would you wear a shirt with sexy bath time Geralt? Ooh. Absolutely. There you go, yeah. my point! <laughs> yes. Sick. Team Fallout. What's your okay. name? What's your name? Hi, my name's Dylan. Hi, Hi Dylan. Dylan. This is my first Dylan? time here at... Um, oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, first of all, I froth loot. I love that shit. I have mad problems. On you get a point for saying froth. Well, it's yeah. my favorite. No, I give him a point. <laughs> mad problems on Skyrim and games like Witcher, where I do pick it up and I get over encumbered. Yep. Stamina perks, baby. Stamina fucking perks. You just earned Team Fallout two points for us. Well That's done. That's all I'm gonna say. Team Witcher, you ate too much of my mac and cheese before. Yes, I did. The mac and cheese was great. Stop sucking up. Fuck, he gets a point. Damn it, yeah. it really was great though. <laughs> My name's Drew and I'm a Witcherholic. Mm -hmm. Hi, Drew. Hi. <laughs> All right, so a few points that I have for Witcher 3 is, the big thing is the choices that you make in Witcher 3 actually feel like uh, it's making a huge difference in uh, the game. Like you're actually making a huge impact, whereas like you're either uh, saving the Baron's kid and uh, you have to either choose between saving orphans or saving his wife. If uh, you let uh, the wife die, spoilers alert, anyone <laughs> want to hear it? <laughs> yeah, he hangs himself. If, uh, I got that ending. Look, look. If, you, if your point is that the, the choices that you make in The Witcher count more than Fallout, I blew up a fucking city. It was gone the whole game. <laughs> uh, I well, how many quests do you have that actually make a huge difference in all those uh, people died sir yeah only what? one major quest Women, uh which has like 12 they different, all die no, not even 12. You it matters like, you've got 100 different quests five right? seconds to uh, sell Very me well. another point um damn <laughs> <laughs> sorry bud Team i, fire. Up. Wait, I feel like quickly. alana's stuff should have been saved for a rebuttal yeah Mm. Just quickly, can and not we can get them to deduct a point because he said spoiler alert after giving the spoiler? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can take a point away for that because there is rules about spoilers. You give the spoiler warning, <laughs> allowing time. How many more bags have we got giving away for the uh, third stuff? All right, three more and we've got a minute and a half. You've only got like 20 seconds. What's your name? John. Hi, John. Okay, so my point's on narrative as well, actually, and I think that... Fallout as a series, as a franchise, um, embodies what video game narratives can do in a way that The Witcher doesn't. He's right that The Witcher, the Witcher has a sort of uh, a straightforward narrative and a predefined character, but if you want that, read the books. If you want to play a video game, play Fallout. Because do not tell a, a room full of gamers to not play a video game. Next. You're up. Well, you know how you said that there was an implied okay. vampire orgy in Fallout 3? Witcher 1 actually has a vampire orgy. You get a point. Yeah. yeah. Hey. 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 Hi, I'm Steve. Uh, <laughs> if you're going to, to compare these two games, what you really need to compare is The Witcher being Disneyland. Thank you for the hint. And uh, Ponderware.net, you can get your own. 
I just and want everyone to look at my chest. And Fallout being Disney World. If you're going to compare the two, both are great, both are a lot of fun, but the fact of the matter is, Disneyland fits in Disney World's car park. And that's true. Size of the game, we haven't talked about that one, you get a point. <laughs> Team Winter, name? Jeremy, I would argue that despite the change in genre and spin-off, uh, Fallout hasn't innovated in decades. Uh, Shelter is XCOM 91, uh, 3 and upwards is a, a Morrowind 2002, and the crafting system is nothing but nails. Ooh. Mic drop, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is time, but I need to digest a few things that just happened there. Brad, can you help me out with that? Oh, that was good. <laughs> that was good. He spoke so fast and the microphone Jeremy was blurry a little bit. What were the points that he made? Can you please articulate them? Uh, we win. Uh, no, he, he made a point on, on multiple things, on the terrible Fallout Shelter that's honestly, we, we all play, uh, be honest, we all played it for Mobile two Game weeks, year. you played it for two weeks and then you stopped. It was Pokemon Go V1, alright? Everyone played it for two weeks and then they stopped. Alright, you get a point next. What was the other point that he made? Thank you, one point for that. <laughs> Damn it, yeah, you do. I still play Pokemon Go. Fuck you, Brad. <laughs> Melbourne is lit, by the way, guys. All right, that was your time. Sorry, we have run out of time, but we will have one more chance. Whoever's standing up there in the, the next round afterwards, when I say well, there's a last chance, both of you guys will stand up and deliver your point. Better be fucking good. That's all I'm saying. Right, we are moving on to the next round. Oh, no. Oh, no, we've got the points. I'm going to uh, tally up. You ready for it? Team Fallout? 5, 10, 15, 19. <laughs> Team Witcher? 25. You know what, Team Fallout, you're a really good sports during that announcement, so you get a point. <laughs> Sportsmanship. Alrighty, next round! Fan fight, that was great. Oh, it's rebuttal time. So basically, gloves are off in this particular round. Have we just got the one countdown? Two. Two. Alright, so what's going to happen is, because Fallout, uh, Alana did start with her argument, we are going to bring up Laurie. I hope you've got some great... <laughs> oh, no, I, I've, I've, I've written a series of, of, uh, of good points. Oh my God. Um, Look at this. Um, that's it there. <laughs> it just says that Fallout one. sucks. Yeah, that's all, that's all it needs. <laughs> you know those memes that are going around where like the kid, the, in the math equation it says explain your thinking? Love a good meme. And it's a picture of someone with a little thinking bubble and how they got the answer? That was you yeah. as a kid for sure. So basically, any point that they have made, and they have made 19 valid great points, it is up to you to debunk them and to take those points away from the team. All of Team Witcher, you get a chance to speak up here. So you're, all your mics are on, your four minutes to take points from Fallout starts now. And guys, if you disagree, stand up and yell. Why? Because awesome. I will listen. Oh, damn, she brings a sass. All right, oh, your time started, go. Right, time's, ooh, <gasps> six seconds, damn. Okay, so I really want to talk about the fact that The Witcher has been, uh, since 2007, it has made so much progress as a game and with the story since that time. Fallout has been around for a long time and the graphics are still shit, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the Witcher is a proof that they care about, uh, they care about their progress in the game, the characters, character development, um, your sense of connection, it's really important. The Witcher revolves around your connection to Geralt and the world around him, and that's why they needed to make the world so beautiful. And it is one of the most beautiful games out there today. They have won so many awards. We didn't mention this earlier, which I should have. So it's won over 1,500 individual awards, and you cannot deny any of those points. Game of the year, come on. Also, also... <laughs> Moving on to Fallout's combat, um, it it does not improve at all. They, it's fuck, it, it fucking <laughs> sucks. It's and funny. they're like, it's so clunky. So they're like, let's add a system that vats slow mo, and that'll fix the combat. It's so let's boring. Do a role play of yeah. Fallout Fallout gameplay compared to The Witcher. Yeah. All right. So this is Fallout gameplay. That's accurate. This is the witch's combat. Ooh. <laughs> because it's... <laughs> also, Fallout 4 was really disappointing. Let's be honest. Fallout 3, 
Good game, not as good as Witcher 3. Don't, don't disappoint from me, ever. Should be compared and to The Witcher 2. Witcher 2? Witcher 2 yeah, is sweet. It has, a, a, Witcher it has a great it. Assassin's Creed yeah. reference in there. You guys you guys seen that Easter egg? Great Easter egg. Mm -hmm. And Fallout 4 is just a messy bug. In fact, everything Bethesda releases is honestly a messy bug. Who here, honest, who has come across a... Wow, that's a, that's a point. That shriek has got to be a point. <laughs> Fallout, Fallout is so buggy. It's so annoying. It's so... Uh, the, you, the things you remember, the NPCs you remember, the, my friend over here with the sweet hat made a good point before about the quest line with the Baron, right? You remember the Baron. Mm. Can any of you guys remember the people from the town you, you blew up in Fallout? Yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> Moira the children of Adam, Adam bro. Moira, I wrote a book for her. Isn't that why you blew them up? Because yeah, they were not interesting. Yeah, but you blew them up, though, right? <laughs> you blew them up. I remember them. Right. They were the, worth keeping. The Baron was a villainous dude. He was a douchebag. And I still really cared about that guy. Yeah. <laughs> you get a point. Right, and yeah. speaking of other characters, who's a fan of Siri? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so the Fallout team said we can't choose, like... Geralt's gender, and that's fair enough, but Witcher 3 lets you play as Ciri, and she was an amazing character. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. And to pair with that, many different endings for Ciri, yep. which is amazing in itself. Also, the voice acting in Fallout is atrocious. Oh, yeah. It is so oh. bad. In fact, I have a quote here from Todd Howard, who is the lead designer or producer or director behind... But that's, a, that's, a, so that's a good source. Director. Doesn't even know what he does. Uh, whatever. He, he, it's Todd Howard. He said... I should. Uh, <laughs> it was the most less successful mechanic in that game. It was something they honestly should scrap. So, like, honestly, if the guy that designs the game doesn't even think it's that good, he's probably going home and going, fuck, I love Gwent. It's terrible. That's time. That's time. That is time. Woo! Damn, some farting words, Team Witcher. Team Fallout, it's your turn to, uh, with your rebuttal. What have you got? All right. First up, it was said that uh, Fallout hasn't progressed since Fallout 1. Bullshit. Change genres completely. Mic drop. Uh, second was they, they kept talking about beautiful women, these two beautiful women. In Fallout, you can choose your companion. You don't have to have one of those two. You can choose whatever you want. Also, every single game has dogs. Thank you. One of them has four dogs. Beautiful women ain't shit. <laughs> dad, again? <laughs> Damn it, Dad! All right. Uh, if we're mentioning books, because you brought up the books being very good, you have to mention all the extra media. The Witcher sh show, the TV show, is fucking terrible. It is embarrassingly bad. The collector's edition that came out with The Witcher 3 was so bad that people requested pre-orders because his face looks like it's melting. It's awfully painted, terrible collector's edition. Uh, it was legitimately comically bad. Uh, they spoke about how much swords are better than guns. You can get swords in Fallout 4. Some of them are legendary weapons, and they're amazing. There are tons of awesome melee weapons, Woo! and they are absolutely rad. Uh, obviously, mention that your choices don't matter. I blew up Megaton. That mattered. Um, argument that the game hasn't changed since it came out, saying that Fallout 4 hasn't changed, or maybe the franchise hasn't changed. When you think about how long Fallout has been around, it has influenced so many other franchises, far more than The Witcher has, which I think took a ton of its inspiration from Skyrim, which is mechanically incredibly similar to Fallout, obviously. Uh, and also, right it influenced now. Wasteland. Wasteland 2 won tons and tons and tons of uh, Game of the Year awards. It was the game that basically started Fallout in the first place. Graphics don't matter. That's my rebuttal to, oh, look how beautiful oh, this oh, game is. No, don't care. No. You all Graphics. played Pokemon as a kid. Graphics don't matter. Yeah. Thank you. Well, Spoke about uh, the uh, combat in Fallout being clunky as hell. I kind of don't agree, and you also have the choice. You can choose to play in different ways. You can choose to play stealthy if you want to. There are things you can collect all Rare throughout the game world that let you play in completely different ways. It's also The Witcher 2 and 1 are clunky as fuck. Those games are not easy to play. The Witcher 2, you can't just hand someone that game in the middle of nowhere and be like, play it. They're like, what? how do I use potions? What? It's only The Witcher 3 that is the one that carries that better. The others are incredibly hard to play and very, very hard to pick up. And if we're talking about bugs, which was the last point, uh, there's a bug that's so bad in The Witcher 3 that it kind of became a meme. I don't know if you guys have seen the horse thing. 
If you haven't seen the horse thing, you should you should look that up. That's almost a positive. Yeah. Basically, the horse is just like flip through trees and shit, and it's it's like it's its own wheel. That's a pretty bad bug. <laughs> Leave the horse alone. <laughs> I mean, Any, can we else? just talk about the fact that they named the horse Roach? Yeah. I thought he liked the horse. Come on, Roach. <laughs> Every horse is a Roach. <laughs> I like that you get to pick your name. I know it's a really simple thing, but I like naming my character That's after me. <laughs> I would also argue that, like, you know how people said that it doesn't matter because you're not taking up the mantle of a character, you're just choosing your own character? I mean, there's tons of stuff that I cared about in Fallout, like your kid. Like, it, it gives you, there is that pretext there. It's also, in Fallout 3, your dad is Liam Neeson. I care about that dude. Like, come on! Can I get a point for my dad being Liam Neeson? Sorry, actual dad. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, four dogs in one game, Dad. Dogs, dogs, yeah. two had four I dogs. like bombs. Should I give a point to you? I like bombs. What? That's He's why we have games! <laughs> yes. Presenting and, um, us. Oh, we got 15 seconds. I feel like I've rebutted every single point pretty well, especially for extra meaning. We have to talk about the Fallout comics, which uh, review incredibly highly and are very, very good. And also tons of DLC that has scored in the nines, too. So. Oh. oh, and Nuka Cola. Also, Nuka Cola. <laughs> also, best merch, obviously. And time. That is your time rebuttal. Well done. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I listened to your points. Will you get one for it or will you take a point away from the other team? Let's start off with Team Witcher. You said Fallout's graphics are still shit. I would give you a point for that. But then Alana argued in hers. <laughs> The graphics don't matter, and that gameplay is far more important. But what if it has what, both? They, they what clunky? if it has both? Witcher has like, a clunky oh. gameplay, gameplay and graphics and both? music and story. Crowd response negated your point. Nothing happened with that one. Well played. Continuing on with Witcher, a point I will give to you is that the game and CD Projekt Red cared more about how it looked. It wanted it to be visually stunning. It gets a point for that one, well done. You said that you feel a connection with Geralt. That point was already made by Team Witcher, so do not get a point for that one. You said it had 1,500 awards, point. Then you said that it should get a point for every single award. Sass, point. <laughs> You said the Fallout combat was clunky. Not only did you say it, point, you showed it. Yeah. Point. <laughs> you got balls, kid. You said that Fallout 3 is still good. Brad. And then you said, please, please, don't give Fallout a point for that. Fallout gets a point. <laughs> you said the Easter eggs. It. The Easter egg that you mentioned, the Assassin's Creed one, was that for Fallout or was that for Witcher? That's Witcher, Witcher 2 has an Assassin's Creed Easter egg where they make fun of Assassin's Creed. I don't care, you got a point. <laughs> then you slammed the shit out of Bethesda. <laughs> Sorry. You got a point. You said uh, you've got dragons. You'd made that point before. I like that. And then Alana said, or someone in the audience, Team Fallout said, where do you think they got the dragons from? Motherfucking Skyrim, Team Bethesda, you get a point. You said it's got memorable characters. You pledged why you love the Baron so much. And then Alana said, even though I killed all the characters, I still knew their name. That's probably the most sadistic thing I've ever heard. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know their name, yet you kill them. Team Fallout gets two points. Because I'm scared of Alana. <laughs> she knows my name. I wrote a book for one of those people. You said Siri. Now this is a character. Huh? What? That's a, that's a point. Fuck, it is. Fallout to point. <laughs> you, you fight the good fight. Siri with a C for Siri. <laughs> is an amazing character, and you, you made not only the point that if you wanted to play as a female character, it allowed you to do that, but you also said that the relationship between Geralt and Ciri was something that was quite magical. Two points. <laughs> Shona, that was all you. You said that there was bad voice acting in uh, Fallout. But then Alana said that Liam Neeson voiced a character. Yeah. 
You can't touch Liam Neeson, are you kidding me? Fallout gets a point. <laughs> yes, it is perfect. <laughs> Have you seen Taken 3? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did watch Taken on my way to Paris, where I was travelling by myself. Oh. I take away my only point. <laughs> Idiot. Um, then you said the game developer of Fallout even said the mechanic that was in the game was not good. That scored Witcher uh, a point. Well done. Well, Team Witcher anyway. So, over to Team Fallout. Well, you guys ready for this? You get two points for dogs. Not only do you have them, that you're up to four dogs. And then your daddy had dogs, so I gave you another... What? What? Dogs! Dogs! <laughs> I, I, I believe he said which is the best. Uh, hey, hey Maud, how cute us. Zelda. I think he said minus two points per yeah. dog. Oh. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Witcher has a troll with a, that wears a boat. Aww. Like, that's a pet. Like, that's, like, Witcher oh loses the point. These trolls are ugly, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Team Fallout. Kaz, you play dirty. You mentioned my dog Zelda. <laughs> Two points. <laughs> you get to choose your companion. Mm -hmm. Love that. You get a point. You mentioned Nuka Cola. You get a point. <laughs> um, you said that the extra media for Witcher had to be discussed because it wasn't great. Just because there's a lot of it doesn't mean that it's good. So the TV show sucked. You said that, um, yeah, it wasn't good. The you collector's edition is atrocious. You said two things. You get two points. <laughs> Fallout has influenced other games. What a powerful statement to make. In, a, in an era where there are so many games, the ability to influence ongoing games after that is a big deal. That's another point. You said that Wasteland was the first game, and it was a really good uh, gameplay, and you made your point that gameplay over graphics is more important. You already got your point for that. But then you mentioned Pokemon, and you tapped into nostalgia, which meant those guys cheered. Two points. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Another point because you mentioned Pokemon, and your name is literally Charolanazad. It's my, I my like legal name. irony. <laughs> you said that there was different styles of combat. You successfully rebutted the fact that the combat was clunky. You said there's other ways to play the game. Go stealthy if you don't want to hit. That's a rebuttal. You get a point. <laughs> Which was confusing to play in two of the games. And Negates Witcher gives point. you the option to talk as well as fight. So you can handle situations differently. Oh. Yeah, you what does do the Fallout count? Oh, that point was already nasty now. <laughs> really quickly, there was a bug and a glitch so bad that it became a meme. You get a point. What kind of special? <laughs> I like it. Oh. <laughs> he knows me. You said that uh, Fallout has DC Comics and the, DL uh, the DLC even rated a nine. That's two extra points. And then you said, I'm looking at this. What is this shit? And then you said you got a kid. If that doesn't make you care, you're a bad person. And please <laughs> tie your tubes. <laughs> Did you kill the kid? Did no. you kill your kid? No, I didn't Did kill Did you kill kid. your kid? Yeah, she killed the kid of the sheriff. Did you kill a kid? Yeah. You actually can't you kill can't, kids yeah, in you Fallout. Can't kill children in Fallout. Can't kill kids in Fallout! Point! Alrighty, that is the rebuttal round over. Let's go through the points. Woo! Shit! <laughs> Team Witcher, you're on 35. <laughs> Team Fallout. You're on 47. Yeah! Woo! Every point you brought up, she negated it, man. She can't rebut. She went second. That's 435. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving you a point for that because that's the other kind of special. Um, you are right. They got to go second. They had more of an opportunity for that. The default, two points. That brings you to 37. There is a 10-point difference. What's happening now? It's called Last Chance. This is the next round. 
We got you guys to tweet using the hashtag fight of fandoms. These guys are currently going through their t You fucking not doing it? Well, mate, I'm doing ah, it now. I'm doing it. <laughs> All right. Whew. Nearly lost a point. Made sure it didn't happen. You guys have got your Twitter? Yep. Got your tweets? Anyone, did anyone tweet here? Yeah. All right, with last chance, remember those two guys that didn't get to go last time? Stand up, it's your time. Thank you, thank you. We don't have any more giveaways, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. But we do? We do have a couple more? Yeah. Should yeah. All right, cool, we've got, some, got a few more. If you tweeted, pull your tweet up and stand behind your uh, designated microphone. You can be reading your own tweet out. So if you've done that, get up. Alrighty, you guys went first last time. Team Fallout, it is your chance. By the way, the poll, if it hasn't already finished, it's finishing any second now. Cast your vote. If you're watching on Twitch, it's your time to do it now too. Team Fallout, have you got some good tweets? Yep. New points. I do not want to hear anything you've already earned a point mm -hmm. for. This has to be brand new. What have you got for me? Who's the tweet from? Uh, I've got Jono Koras, Korakas. Yep. And he says, but there's no death clause in Witcher. True. In rebuttal to the dragon point, I think. That's a point. All right, pull that. Dragons fly. <laughs> Flying. These guys are the best. <laughs> they get a point too, they rebutted it. Uh, have, you got, uh, have you got a tweet on this side? We're going one for one here. Yeah. What's yeah, your tweet? We have uh, one from Steve Einhide, which is a very, Hi, very sweet name. Uh, he makes the great point of saying, Witcher, exclamation mark. I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, that is What's no that? point. No. That was your chance? Well, Witcher, what exclamation mark. Witcher is the best. That's all you need. Yep, cool. Sorry, you missed out. Team Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> Microphone's up. What you got? Um, Fallout is alcohol compatible. Uh, it's alcohol you, compatible? Yeah, you can use vats while you've had a couple of beers. I can't do all that fancy spinny shit. He's right. After I've had a couple of beers. You can. I can't twirl around Which all pretty and shit. You to have to do point. missions while exactly. you're drunk. You have and to carry while you are drunk yeah. and then go back into the house drunk and it takes forever and it is so worth it. Yeah. And in Witcher 2, there's a mission where you get drunk and you get a tattoo on your neck and if you choose to yeah. not get it removed, yeah. in 3, he still has it. No, I'm saying when I'm, I've had alcohol. The, he's saying he can play Fallout drunk because that lets you be terrible and not be able to see shit. I'm drunk right now. But then, <laughs> that's true. Brad, you shouldn't get a point. Well, I'm giving you one. Um, you said also that you can't do spinny shit when you're drunk? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> go hard or go home. Wait, no. Shh, sorry. Nah, no point. Over here, Team Witcher. Hi, um, you made a joke before, Maud, about boobs being... I'm funny, being... I'm, I'm yeah, funny. Of course you Team are. Team Witcher gets a point. You're the funniest person I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you made a joke about uh, boobs being in Witcher before, but I wouldn't put a serious note on that in that... Did you just make a pun and you didn't even know? Did I? Serious? Fuck, dude. Can I'm I so please sorry. just... <laughs> okay, can I please so... just mention six on a unicorn? Sorry. Yeah, that's true, but... <laughs> point, nudity, yeah. Nudity existing in The Witcher 3 sort of elevates the storytelling in, um, in Witcher a lot more than uh, most other games tend to strive towards. How so? so? That, it creates a much more um, adult... Um, this kind of sexuality in sort of video games, it's not really you something that's been You reckon being naked makes a, a story elevated? No, but nudity, nudity, like nudity so in a movie versus... you're going outside and getting some. Pause the clock. Well, yeah, it's, it creates a much more... Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's what uh, romantic, or it just elevates the entire story. Tell time. you what, when I think about um, Dead or Alive, I think romance. <laughs> there's some titties in that game. That's how that works. Witcher fans are horny, you get a point. <laughs> Team Fallout, you get a point, you're wearing a Geek Bomb shirt. Yes. Geek Bomb represent! <laughs> Actually, so do the other guy, he's wearing a pun intended shirt, it's another point. Punintended.net, I mean, uh, what is it? Punderwear.net. <laughs> Buy it, there's a sale on right now, $14 t shirts. Yay. <laughs> hey, they're actually really good, I'm wearing one. What's your point? Now, I tweeted out Fallout has dog meat, Witcher is dog meat. Hey. Was there a point there? Well, 
Lola gets a point. Yeah. Team Witcher, what do you got? I've I got said, two points. I said that Twitter Witcher handle? fans don't need to hide their faces out of shame, just saying. What's your Twitter handle? Hmm? What's your Twitter handle? Uh, Cade514. You were saying... Oh, time's up. He said that I've actually written this one down too. It was Witcher fans don't need to hide their faces out of shame. I don't understand what you mean. <laughs> when that was the yeah. first point that Brad brought up. You already got your point for that one. I oh, listened. No, Brad said hide their tears. And actually this tweet came in independently. That I wrote this tweet down before Brad got up. This was made very early in the evening. And it's true, they're You're all not wearing no, a mask you because you've given that, up. The poor guy behind you had his mask down. No point with that one. Um, alrighty. Now it's time. Now it's time to check the poll, everyone. At Geek Bomb mm. is where we conduct all of our fighter fan and polls. I'm heading there right now. It's over. Some of you already know the answer. Five points goes to whoever we are. Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbledore cannot save you now. 47% to 53%. Ooh. That is so, so close. Over a thousand people voting. I voted for Witcher. Woo! We get a point for having the That's moderator. But. Fallout won. Woo! I'm going to tally the scores. That's because they're not playing the game? <laughs> you can't do two things at once, you lose a point. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. Also, can I just add one final closing argument? Uh, we have VR, so Fallout's in VR. Yeah, with point. the times. Closing statement, one more point you want to make? Uh, I have another point. They talked about DLC. Uh, Blood and Wine is the newest DLC for Witcher. It is nominated for tons of awards this year, more than most other single-player story games, and they made the point about single-player DLC. I'm pretty DLC. sure that's not true. That is true. Joystick. Okay, it is Blood true. and Wine Compare is already nominated Harbor for against Blood and Wine. I'm sorry. No comparison. Sorry. <laughs> nice. Two points. Well done. Whew, I'm tallying up now. <laughs> the way you delivered it as well. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> a little bitch. I love it. Two more. Brings your tally. Okay, Team Witcher. After tallying everything, you make great points. Your, t your fan base is absolutely dedicated. You guys are super passionate. Maybe I'll give an extra point for that one. Not that it's going to do anything. <laughs> 44. 44 points. You guys single-handedly made over 44 positive points about this game. That is fantastic. Team Fallout, you won the poll by like 6%. That is absolutely nothing. I've added it all up. 57 points. You won 13 yeah! over. <laughs> Team Fallout, fantastic job. Well done. You did it. And thanks to everyone who tweeted in, voted in the poll system, got involved, stood up, showed your face, all hid behind the mask. <laughs> Thank you so much. Fight of Phantom does happen every single week on Fridays at Geek Bomb on our Twitter page. Can I please ask you to raise, raise your hands? <laughs> wow, that's what it feels like to be a rapper. <laughs> Wave them around like you just don't care. We can raise our glasses. You care too much. <laughs> Raise our glasses. Oh, yeah, you guys got cool new glasses. They light up as well. Ooh. Laurie Pops, you did so well. Thank you. Woo. The fact that you spent basically the entire year playing every single Witcher game <laughs> yeah. is amazing in itself. Should have given you a point. Actually, I did give you a point for that one. Shona, Brad, how do you feel? Oh. Second place. I just feel, oh. I just feel like fun. everyone that, that goes for Fallout here has objectively worse taste. Just. <laughs> But well, we're doing a meet and greet, like, right after this, yeah, sure. and you may get punched. That's yeah. cool. Winning team, Team Fallout, Alana. Well done. Thank really you. Thank through. You. How do you guys feel about this all? Look, I still 
voted for the Witcher 3 for Game of the Year last year, so... <laughs> yeah, you still So I'm very conflicted. <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, yeah, but you won at the fight of fandoms. Guys, right now we are conducting a meet and greet. We will be moving to the front of the stage. Photos, whatever you want. We can have a chat. That won't be on Twitch. I apologise. Thank you so much for watching. If you have been watching on Twitch, if you are on Twitch and you do want to follow Geek Bomb, we are doing far more streams now. You've been amazing. I've been your moderator. Guys, have a great night. Woo! I love you, Pop Squad! <laughs> Damn it, which is my favourite game. Well done.